Uh, thank you again, everyone, for joining us. My name is Kimberly Tucker, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at DSD Business Systems. You likely received an invite from me to this webinar or another member of the marketing team, Jared. We are both available to you today if you have any issues with your Grubhub redemption or um, any questions about connectivity or anything here. Uh, please feel free to respond to any of the emails you've received from us or uh, use the chat feature of this GoToWebinar environment. Um, we wanna make this a really valuable session, a really interactive session. So if anything um, sparks your interest throughout the webinar, please go ahead and use that chat feature and I'll bring it in at the Q&A session at the end of our call here. So uh, really excited you're all here. Let's meet our presenters. So today we have Chris Joko is our principal solutions architect. He is an expert in legacy ERP from years past, as well as our modern cloud in interfacing ERPs. So really excited to have him here to show through um, the, just the journey and the evolution of ERP as a whole and um, give that context to the future technologies. In addition to Chris, we have Bob Black. He is our Executive Vice President of Consulting here. He also brings several decades of experience in our solutions, as well as um, just that mindset that the consultative process and how each business is unique and uniquely suited with technology. So for our agenda today, we're gonna go over us as DSD, who we are and our, our partnership with Acumatica. Um, our tenure includes that legacy ERP landscape. So we're gonna dig into what we know about the space and, and why you should trust us. And then Acumatica as a product, we're gonna go over that as well, full overview. And the native features that are available in Acumatica versus kind of what has been made available in legacy ERP. Uh, then we'll go into the financial implications of kind of the, the legacy versus modern environment, um, a few success stories, and we will have a interactive Q&A session. So again, just wanna reiterate that uh, I'm here as your moderator. I'll be fielding any questions you have um, for addressing them in the Q&A session. So with that, I'll pass it along to Chris, who is gonna go over our DSD. Oops, sorry. There you go. Cool, thank you, Chris. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, as you know, many of you working with us for many, many years, Acuma, uh, DSD is an award-winning reseller, developer, service provider. You know, we have a mission, and uh, that mission is to connect businesses and software for success. We are entering our 40th year of existence, and so we built the ideas of solving problems with technology in all new ways, whether that was back in the day with our legacy ERP applications, which were ahead of its time back in 1984 through the 90s and the early 2000s, to the modern day applications like Acumatica ERP, which you're gonna see today. We are a team of dedicated software, IT experts, consultants, all around tech funds that focus on delivering exceptional software solutions to enable business efficiency, growth, and success. And we provide expertise from selection, configuration, implementation, training, and ongoing support of these business management software applications. So today, what I wanna focus on is where did we come from? You know, the legacy ERP landscape, you know, Back in the day when we wanted to kind of stand up an ERP solution, we needed to talk about infrastructure and how we're gonna scale that, you know, legacy uh, ERP uh, applications were often hosted on premise. Um, so whenever we wanted to talk about scalability, those things got expensive and cumbersome. When it came to integration and customization, you know, those things could be complex. A lot of legacy applications were written in proprietary, proprietary languages that made it very complex to integrate other systems and new technologies with our ERPs. The user interface and experience, you know, these interfaces were dated, you know, they were less intuitive, they were difficult to navigate. Getting real-time data, 
that wasn't an option. We had to wait sometimes to the next day to be able to run reports on what transpired the day before. You know, so we're not able to lead, you know, we're not able to make decisions right away when things are starting to go another way. We also had to deal with licensing and pricing. You know, a lot of legacy ERP were based on the number of users, which mean that we couldn't get everybody on the application. So we had to find ways to get data to these people outside. You know, we had to schedule reports to go to um, people outside of the organization, or maybe that the board, we had to send emails out because they couldn't just get in because we were limited to the number of users that we had. And then maintenance and upgrades. We had to work through upgrading those things manually. You know, we had to take that risk, taking the system down on the weekend after hours to stand up a new version. So a lot of that time, you know, that's where we came from in this legacy ERP landscape. Moving into the, you know, modern age, companies needed e-commerce, ma warehouse management, document management, CRMs, those things had to be done with third parties. And those third parties made it very expensive for us to integrate into our legacy ERP applications. So what we wanted to do is we want to move into the core capabilities. And so I'll turn this over to Bob and he can start talking about what we can gain by moving to a more modern platform like Acumatica. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Just got a couple slides here on Acumatica and then we're going to come back and, and Chris is going to take us through some uh, some show and tell demos also. So uh, and, and, and as, as Kimberly said, please feel free to, to add any questions that you that you might have. Um, couple things about Acumatica. Acumatica is born in this century. Uh, I don't know that that's the only uh, large ERP born in this century, but I think it might be. Uh, many, many are much older than that. Um, it was built as a platform, a web, uh, a web application platform first uh, and an ERP second, um, which, which makes the underlying technology very secure and, uh, and, and very robust for cloud computing. It's kind of different in that way, a real differentiator. Um, it conform Acumatica conforms to the Open API initiative, which is the standards that uh, that APIs are kind of um, um, you know shared among different uh, softwares. Uh, Acumatica participates in managing uh, the uh, that that initiative and and creating and, and managing the uh, the API standards. Um, very unlike other uh, multi-tenant applications, it, uh, when you when you sign up for and and get a, a, an instance of Acumatica. It's a virtual environment, uh, and there's a couple of really important, you know, things that that are related to that. Um, you know, if you're highly customized, if you have a lot of integrations, if you're a more complex company that has uh, has a complex uh, ERP, you know, you don't necessarily have to upgrade every time there's an upgrade, like like many of the multi-tenant environments. Um, if you're not complex, you know, we can turn on always current and you stay upgraded regularly. So that that's also a, certainly an option for Acumatica, kind of kind of best of both worlds there. Um, another another important part about a virtual environment is that you can customize your instance, which you know, in you can and, and truly customize. Acumatica is an open source product, so literally source code is available to you when you when you open and work with that, uh, Acumatica. So uh, you can, you know, if you have skills, if you want to uh, get get a, a developer, you can actually do your own application development if needed. Um, scalability. Uh, Acumatica will run on a laptop. I mean, it, it is a very lightweight application, but it can also scale up uh, significantly to much larger. It can have um, uh, multiple load balance servers that it runs on, both uh, for the, the database and for the application server. Um, you know, when when you when you're in the SaaS environments managed by a, a team of engineers uh, uh, in, in, in that are uh, Acumatica and it's and it's on the AWS platform. So um, again, it's very very scalable, and so uh, size uh, size can go up as you need it. Um, Acumatica is an adaptable platform that supports uh, custom build applications, allowing your business to uh, systems to uh, address changes that you don't even know you need now. There might be other integrations that you want to do in the future, and this this platform was one that you that can grow with you that can that can address future needs as well. 
Um, Acumatica has the number one user interface from nuclear research, nucleus research, and it's top rating in many, in multiple categories on G2. Um, and I, I'm sure we're going to get into a little more access in the future, access from any device with a browser from anywhere. Uh, and it also has a native mobile app. Um, examples of how uh, workflows that might be available in, the, in a mobile app are approvals uh, or time entry or even warehouse scanning. Those are all things that are done through the mobile app. Uh, next slide, please. So there's a there's there's four uh, industry additions along with general accounting would kind of be a fifth distribution manufacturing uh, construction and uh, retail commerce. Um, you know many many of our current clients uh, replace multiple systems when they came to Acumatica as you can kind of see it's a very broad application and can do many things together. You know there's that can be challenging in some ways and DSD is here and experienced in in in, in doing this in ways that uh, we can kind of help you redefine what workflows might look like. Uh, Acumatica kind of gives you one version of the truth. Um, an example is your inventory. It might be used to issue materials to a construction project. It might uh, be used to uh, issue materials to production orders. It might be used to issue um, uh, to sales orders. And it can also be shared out with an e-commerce site. All that being real time, just think about how important that is to have one list of inventory shared with all those different places. Um, uh, CRM is another thing that's native inside Acumatica, which is kind of a nice surprise. Many of the sales processes, the activities, the, the, the attachments that you have in a sales process that are in the CRM application, you know, you go and create a, a project or you create a sales order out of those things. All that, all that history comes along with those things. So uh, another side benefit of having that as part of your, uh, your, your, your core ERP system. Um, you know, Acumatica is a growing community. Uh, it's over 10,000 users, and that's not people users, that's companies so that, that are currently using Acumatica. Uh, it's a very large, one of the fastest growing uh, ERP systems available right now. Uh, it's also important to mention that Acumatica has a 10-point bill of rights, and, um, you know, a couple of those, which I'm sure we're going to touch on later also, is unlimited user access, uh, transparent fair pricing with no long-term commitments, uh, and professional online user training for free. Um, next slide, please, Chris. I'll turn Perfect. it back over to Chris. All right. <clears throat> so let's talk about the return on investment for making the move to Acumatica. As you can see here, we have kind of two glaciers, you know, above the water. And, and when you look at from the subscription standpoint, those things might look similar when it when you're comparison comparison comparing sorry your legacy ERP to Acumatica. Now when many of our customers and prospects don't realize is there are a lot of costs that surround legacy ERP, ma mainly because legacy products are not as feature rich as a modern cloud ERP like Acumatica. So as you can see on this slide, surface costs might be similar. But when you start thinking about adding those third-party applications like multi-currency, multi-company, multi-bin, WMS, CRM, e-commerce, I once did a, you know, a cost comparison for one of our prospects where staying on their legacy ERP ended up costing them two to three times as much as moving to Acumatica in the first year. Because there are things that you may not think about, like hardware that you need to support your legacy ERP, having IT personnel that is there to manage those servers. You have to manage your operating systems like Windows Server or Windows Desktop applications, those types of things. You have to worry about those licenses for operating systems and for desktop operating systems. So those are all costs that go into legacy ERP, not even thinking about disaster recovery, um, you know, remote connectivity, because, you know, everybody today has some sort of hybrid workforce. So how are your users going to actually connect to your legacy ERP? You actually have to set up licensing for uh, some sort of cloud application or some sort of remote desktop application. So all of those costs are always have to be considered when you're looking at maintaining your legacy ERP. 
when you make a move to a cloud ERP that is completely hosted by the publisher, you only have to worry about that subscription and in the first year, the implementation and training. Disaster recovery, licensing, resources for that server, all of those things are all included in your subscription. So you never have to worry about that. And with guaranteed uptimes of 99.999%, you don't have to worry about your system ever going down. So let's take a look at some of the things here. Because most of you are working with us already on your legacy ERP, you know, when you think about what kind of support, think about the great people you've been working with. We have the same equal style of staff on our Acumatica cloud services practice. So the support is going to be quite equal because you're dealing with folks that have a lot of experience in all of the different industries that your company may be in. But when you need hardware and software, you don't need to buy anything new for Acumatica because it's all handled by Acumatica. No need for SQL licensing, no need for OS licensing, no terminal service or Citrix licensing, even user licenses you don't have to worry about with Acumatica. Our platform allows an unlimited number of users to log in and use the application day in and day out. We also include multi-currency and multi-company and multi-bin functionality. That is native to Acumatica. And a lot of legacy systems, those are only available with third-party enhancements. Same thing with WMS or warehouse management or manufacturing operations, customer relationship management, and even e-commerce connectors require expensive third-party enhancements there are all native functionality within Acumatica. And the best key differentiator here is legacy ERPs are not true cloud solutions, whereas Acumatica is a true cloud solution. You can access it anywhere that you have internet and some sort of device. It doesn't even have to be a computer. It could be a laptop, it could be a smartphone, it could be a tablet. As long as you have internet, access and some sort of device, you can access Acumatica. Now let's talk about some of our customer successes. And we have a couple of companies here that have moved off legacy applications and, and immediately have benefited and improved their organization. Especially here, if you take a look at reduced technology infrastructure costs, both of these companies, both Keycode and Ericsson International, were able to eliminate the cost of infrastructure from their ERP application. All they have to worry about is, do they have the computers to log into the system or do they have some sort of device? The other key benefit that both of these companies have, have seen is getting away from disparate systems all in one integrated solution, being able to see what another department is doing with that customer or with that vendor or with that item, being able to get real-time financial insights so we don't have to wait for data to sync from an external system. So again, not dealing with VPN connections, you can see kind of the, the redundant story here. Being able to move to a true cloud solution really improved costs and it improved productivity for both of these companies. All right, so let's talk about what you are gonna see today. You know, we're gonna show you how we can replace a lot of third-party tools with Acumatica ERP, you know, where we're gonna see on-time, real-time visibility and reporting, I'll take you through some of our CRM functionality so we can reduce the reliance on things like Salesforce or Sugar or Sage CRM because, you know, that stuff is built in. So we're using the same database for both CRM and financials. So nothing falls through the cracks. We'll take a look at streamlining some of our operations with our warehouse management, and we'll take a look at some of our native integrations with um, e-commerce sites like Shopify and BigCommerce. 
So if you're all ready to jump into this ship with me, um, let's start here. And for any of you have been watching TV as long as I have, a lot of you probably remember The Office, one of my all-time favorite TV shows. You know, back in the day, Dunder Mifflin was selling paper products, right? And, and for a long time, they had this website that was under construction until Ryan became the VP of sales. And he wanted to introduce Dunder Mifflin Infinity, where they can have an online experience with their customer to really try to make things easier within the corporation. But because they didn't have something like Acumatica, if you remember that episode where Jim was making sales on the phone, Ryan was asking him to re-enter those orders into their web portal so that they can have those orders there. So if they had an integrated system like Acumatica, it would probably look a little bit like what I'm gonna show you guys today. So let's jump right in. Let me go ahead and end this slideshow and minimize this. And this is Acumatica ERP, access completely in a browser. You can see here that we support a lot of native functionality like multi-company where I can run the Dunder Mifflin paper company. And maybe I have two branches, a retail division and a wholesale division, as well as we acquired Michael Scott paper company back when Michael Scott kind of broke off from us and he had his division set up a little bit different with an East and West. And then we all remember our parent company, Saber, who you know, took over for us for a while when we were doing going through some financial issues. All of these companies can be run directly in one tenant of Acumatic. I don't have to log off a company, log into another one. Having this multi-company functionality allows me to do consolidated financials without thinking about it because I can have a unified chart of accounts, a unified customer, vendor, and item list, and still have transactions update the appropriate branch or company. The other options that we have here, you know, you have the different workspaces or modules down the left-hand side. You know, we have options like universal search. So if we're looking for a different feature, we can just start typing in and you can see the different menu items automatically start to populate. So a lot of functionality built into Acumatica to make it easy to navigate and get to the things that you need to get to. So let's take a look also at some of our CRM op options. You know, in Acumatica, we have a marketing module where we can work with leads, create marketing campaigns, marketing lists, those types of things, you know, excite our marketing department because they can diverse their client base by different options. We can, we can ping information about sales because we're unified in Acumatica. So my marketing department can see who bought the Sabre tablet, who bought the pyramid. We can run a list and create marketing campaigns around those particular lists. Once we start getting into sales prospects, we have a full opportunity tracking module where we can track prospects and longer sales opportunities and create quotes for clients. Like when we wanna bring in, you know, the Lackawanna County public school system, that's not an easy sale. So we need to track that opportunity and be able to manage our pipeline directly within the system. So these functionality is completely built in, no third parties needed. It is a native application, CRM, into Acumatica. So let's also take a look at, you know, now we're trying to move into the new age here. And so with Acumatica, we have our website here. And so we have, you know, we, we have a retail division, maybe even some of our wholesale distributors want to get in here. And so all of this information can be controlled from within Acumatica. So your items, your item images, your product descriptions, all of this is maintained in Acumatica. So you have one single source of truth. 
And when I want to add something to my cart, I could just add this item here. You know, let's say I want to buy a couple of these pyramids. And then I also need to get some get some paper products. So maybe we want to add some standard reams here of paper. You can decide on how you want to update your Shopify site or big commerce site and then basically have everything completely integrated from pricing to terms all of that can be integrated into your e-commerce site and so in this case here what i'm going to go ahead and do let me go ahead and get this side up and we'll put in a po number and we'll say online 1025 and then we'll go ahead and submit that sales order now with Acumatica, the native integration to Acumatica allows us without the hassle of a third party, I can sync all of these orders into the system, including if there was any payment. So if the payment was taken on the web store, I can import that information directly into the system. So let me go ahead and minimize my store and we'll go back into Acumatica and let's go into our sales orders workspace and access our sales orders listing as you can see here uh, let's see if we've got any new orders that have come in doesn't look like it's populated yet but what we'll go ahead and do is we'll let the integration take care of pulling that data in so no double data entry has to be entered this can be done in real time or you can set different automations of when you want that data to actually pull into the system here. So again, Acumatica kind of keeps things hands off. You don't have to actually manually create anything. And as we refresh, we want to go ahead and see when those particular orders come into the system. So usually what I'll do is I'll have kind of my integration come through and you can see here, now here's my brand new order for USA Bartending School. There are six items being ordered for a total of $1,022. So let's take a look at that order. When I come into this order here, I can see the different items that are being ordered. Looks like two pyramids and four reams of standard paper. All of that information, the customer PO, the external reference to my Shopify order is here or my e-commerce order, so I'm able to see that information. If we are using external tax calculators like um, Avalara or Vertex, Acumatica can communicate with that out of the box, no custom package needing to be installed. From a shipping perspective, Acumatica has, has integrated shipping. So if I wanted to look at you know, what it would cost to ship this order out, I can actually do rate quoting directly from my order. Acumatica can estimate how many boxes are going to be needed, and then we can refresh these rates, and we can actually see what carriers are going to allow us to actually ship out through Acumatic, right? And so once we go and communicate, I'm integrated to USPS, FedEx, UPS International. I can see UPS next day is gonna be about $446 with a delivery date of tomorrow. Um, FedEx overnight, you can see here's UPS ground, and then you can see FedEx ground going to take a little bit longer and it's going to cost us a little bit more. So we're going to stick with our UPS ground. So this is a nice option for us with our shipping carrier solutions. We are able to do that rate quoting so that if you are taking phone orders, you can you can let somebody know exactly how much it's going to cost to ship that order out. Now also part of our Acumatica package is our Acumatica payments link. And so with Acumatica payments, we're able to create online links that if you wanted our customer to go out and pay, we can generate payment links. 
and we can put that link on an order. And if the customer scans that particular link, they'll be able to pay their invoices online. So having that functionality directly in Acumatica and letting a customer go out and make those payments online is another feature with our Acumatica payments. Now, what we need to do is we need to get this order out the door, right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we are going to go through the shipping process. Acumatica has full WMS capabilities built in to the system. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to create a shipment out of my wholesale warehouse for this order. And number one, what we're gonna actually get here is when we have this shipment, Acumatica is gonna dictate, hey, where do we need to get this? We have full multi-bin capabilities within our warehouse and we can see where we have inventory and if they are stored in different locations. And Acumatica can have default bins and we can have directed picking, those things to make picking orders a lot more efficient. What I'm gonna do here is just because my demo system only allows me to have one box, I'm just gonna put everything into one box here. And from within my shipment, I'm going to go ahead and print out a pick list. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Acumatica has a full-on native mobile app. And so this mobile app can work on Android and iOS. And so I'm gonna pull this over here and you can actually see this is our mobile app. And we have different functionality. Salespeople can access CRM. People can look at their pay stubs from the mobile app. We can create orders and purchase orders. We could do approvals. All of those things can be done directly through our mobile app. So again, just giving us more access to our system when traditional options are not available. I'm gonna go ahead and select warehouse management here, and I'm going to do a pick, pack, and ship. And the first thing it's gonna want me to do is it's gonna want me to pick the pick list number. So I can either type that in, or if I have a printed copy of this, I can actually use the scanner. And I don't have a scanner on my phone, but I can actually use my camera to scan the order number. And so now this order has been scanned and now I need to decide what location I'm actually pulling this inventory from. And since I don't have a barcode for that, I'm gonna enter the location ID and then I'm gonna scan the item. And again, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use the barcode on my pick list. And so I can either scan this one time and change the quantity, or I can easily just scan the next couple of different items. So in my case here, let me go ahead and set my quantity. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose four. And now I'm going to move to the next section of the warehouse. And then I'm going to go ahead and scan my pyramid. And now they wanted two pyramids. So we're going to use the set quantity option at the bottom. And I'm going to close this up and we're going to use select two. Now this shipment has been picked. Now, if you support a system where you pick and then you give it to somebody to pack, we can do all of that here. Uh, maybe now I'm done with my portion and then I give my tote or my cart to somebody else. They may log in and change modes to pack mode. And when we set pack mode, I'm gonna go ahead and just scan the item. And then I'm gonna scan the set the quantity here to four because I'm gonna change that easily. And then I'm going to scan the other item. Oops. Scan that one more time. And that now has been packed. You can see my shipment has been packed. And now with our integration, again, remember we are completely integrated to our shippers, UPS, FedEx, 
um, USPS. I'm going to go ahead and confirm my shipment. Now, when this tells me that my pick, my packer has confirmed my shipment, he'll get a, a message here that will say that the shipment has been successfully confirmed. At this point in time, if I was at any particular time, anybody can come into my shipment and they can see that it is now confirmed. With our integration to our shipping carriers, we also have our label generated. And you can see that this is all done automatically through our application, right? So me, I never had to leave Acumatica. Everything that I did was completely done through the system, including getting the labels for all of the boxes that I needed to, to process. So again, all of that information is capable because of our unified integrated system here. Now, if we need to send this back to our web server or back to our Shopify store, you know, now with Acumatica, uh, we have that capability and we pull back my store. If I go back here, if I wanna check on the status of my order, I can see here that here's my orders preparing. Uh, here's the new one, it's been confirmed. And you can see here now, because that information was done on Acumatica, I now have the tracking info. And if you had any notifications going out of Shopify, it would have had all of that information automatically sent directly from the system back to Shopify. Pretty cool stuff here, right? You know, completely integrated, native e-commerce integration, native WMS, native shipping, native multi-company, uh, native multi-currency, all of that multi-bin, all built in directly into Acumatica. Now, at the end of the day, we just need to prepare our invoices, just like we normally would at the end of our day. The nice thing about Acumatica, you could do things one at a time and update those, or you could do them in a batch at the end of the day. You have complete control. And with our automation tools, we can really automate, not this fake automation that other legacy applications claim to have had. We are able to automate the posting of batches, the posting of inventory transactions, even the emailing of system of transactions. So if I email this invoice out of Acumatica, we will keep track at the invoice level, we will create what we call an activity so that there is complete visibility. You can see here that an activity number came up to one. And you can see here, here's my invoice available for viewing. And here's that email and we can customize these email notifications. Everything goes out as a PDF copy. And with our report designer, you have complete control of the look and feel of all of your documents here with Acumatica. So again, that capability is all built in. Now, how many times have you asked yourself, hey, did I send that email out? I can go directly to the invoice. Or if I'm just looking at the customer record, I can come into this customer directly here. Oops, let me refresh my page. Pull up the customer record and on our activity tab, you can see all of the emails, all of the quotes, all of the invoices that have gone out for this particular customer. Oops, and I'm looking at the wrong customer here. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and pull up the right customer. So you can see here is that invoice that we emailed. So no longer have to say, hey, did I, you know, I didn't get my email. Oh, really? I got it here. If you want, you can resend it directly from here if they really claim that they didn't get it. We have the ability to create better note taking systems or even creating tasks. Whether or not you have CRM, this is a function that you can do 
with the customers and vendors so that you can create tasks for your finance team, send emails out to the customer or vendors directly from the system, even create activities and, and events directly through the customer. All of this is completely possible with Acumatica ERP. If you'd like to see a demonstration of how this can work for your, for your team, you know, let our marketing team know. They will get you in contact with the right folks at DSD. And of course, I'd love to show how Acumatica can help your business get to that new digital, do that digital transformation. All right, let me go ahead and pull up this again. And we'll go back here. All right. Are there any questions in the chat, Kimberly or Jared? Yeah, so, well, one came through early on, um, just regarding the content that we're presenting today. This session has been recorded, and we it will be distributed directly from GoToWebinar in the next 24 hours, but we'll also have a follow-up email out to you with a little more information on, on what you've seen here today and the modules that we've reviewed and just you know building more awareness around that all-in-one concept um, with acumatica as well so so short answer yes this is being recorded and will be available for you to have in the next 24 hours or so but actual functional based questions we have not seen any just yet uh, again, attendees, feel free to engage either chat or the questions area of this webinar. Um, Chris is a great resource. He has a ton of legacy ERP experience. So even if you want to discuss like a concept that it, you're currently running into now and what that could look like in a new solution, I'm happy to kind of dive in wherever it makes sense. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so Chris, maybe you just to fill the timer, inspire some more questions. Um, sure. oh, um, actually, we just got one. Thank you, Jennifer. Awesome. Um, the question is, how does Acumatica handle scheduling? So scheduling from a field service perspective, from a production standpoint. Hmm. Production. Great. We do have an advanced planning and scheduling portion of our manufacturing suite. Uh, number one allows us to track how much time do we have available in our different work centers where we where we do um, production, and we can calculate, you know, how much time on a step by step basis. So during our routing creation for a bill of material we can dictate how much time does each step take. And then when we do our scheduling, we can actually pull all of that information together and create a master schedule for production. So if you ever wanna see something like that, I would I would love to you know, sit with your team and, and show you how scheduling works with Acumatica, but that is definitely a functionality in our manufacturing suite. Right, on the same sort of Plane as that um, the question of job costing has also come up. Is it sure. available? What's it like? Right. So in in Acumatica uh, world, we don't call it job costing. We call it project accounting, but it is very similar. So we have projects, which is the equivalent of jobs. We can have tasks and cost codes set up against those particular projects, and that system becomes kind of our repository. So if you post a transaction from accounts payable, inventory, purchasing, sales, and we reference the job, those costs and revenue will automatically post to the project. And we have built in profit and loss statements into each particular project out of the box. So again, if there's something you wanna see, we can definitely schedule something out for your team. But in the light of, just project accounting, our project module integrates everywhere in Acumatica. So if you wanted to even manage manufacturing through projects, we can actually integrate manufacturing with job costing as well. So we have a lot of functionality in that area. You know, we definitely love to show 
show that to you as well. Perfect. Thank you for addressing that. Um, there's another question that asks, is geomapping functionality available for Acumatica? Geomapping from a reporting standpoint or geomapping from knowing where your people are at any time? Maybe both. So we do, we do have mapping capabilities within the system, uh, especially on our field service. Uh, modules. We can, you know, track where users are. We could do route tracking, you know, route optimization um, to help us. But I would love to dive in deeper into what you mean by geomapping. Uh, I think it is geomapping for field service. The extra detail says going to visit customers in the same area and want to pull up where it makes That's, sense. Right. So that with our route management, options we can definitely do that that's so that's cool. the and one that, thing that oh go ahead sorry nope go ahead i was gonna ask if does that involve the acumatica app or or how that yes. kind of translates well it, it, both it's, it's both inside of acumatica and accessible through the mobile app but yes those are those capabilities are available in our field service modules that's the one thing outside of our standard um additions that Bob mentioned, you know, Acumatica has ancillary modules that are optional, but can definitely continually build up the solution for you. And you don't always have to do those things right out of the gate. You know, we can always mature into those things. You know, we don't, we want to crawl before we walk and we want to walk before we run. So our implementation strategy will help you kind of ease into transitioning from a legacy application into Acumatica, as well as then once you're on our platform, taking you to um, new heights because of the technology that we can support. Yeah, awesome. So this has been great. I think interaction's been great. I, if you want to kind of eat up a touch more time, maybe you could discuss like one of your biggest gains in client, um, like the efficiency wise, or just, you know, something to share with the, the audience here on how um, the, the just the mind blowing difference it can, that it makes in legacy migrations. Absolutely. You know, I, I, because I've been in the industry for a long time, you know, I've worked with all kinds of clients, distribution, manufacturing, um, you know, construction-based companies, those types. But, you know, one story that always kind of sticks out in my head is a customer that I, you know, they were a legacy ERP customer of mine. And I had to write a lot of custom reports for them. I had to create a lot of exports because they needed to manipulate data in Excel because their legacy system didn't allow them to create those types of reports you know those things that i had to do when it came down to renewing them on their legacy application they were a company that had probably around 25 users and they needed to maintain their company where they were at now which meant that they had to you know because they were global they had to add multi-currency because they had multiple um offices in different countries they had to manage those different companies and wanted a simpler way to do that inside of their system so we were able to price out their legacy versus acumatica and just in that first year the price difference between updating their legacy application to act um to stay on what they were doing and still continually feed money into their legacy was already out of the gate $45,000 more on their legacy versus mm -hmm. moving to Acumatica, which already had all that functionality built in. And so right off the bat, they were able to come off their legacy, move into Acumatica, and because the modern user interface is very intuitive and very easy to use, they picked it up like nothing. And now, instead of focusing, the, the funny thing is now, 
the controller used to spend late nights working on stuff and he has this running joke he's like now he can watch youtube for half of the day because he no longer has to do any of these manual processes that they were doing before generating shipping logs and generating sales reports and um getting information to his board all of that information was easily accessible it was all there out of the box and it just made life way easier so you know again as you are you know thinking about your strategy to move to the cloud thinking about your strategy to you know enhance what technology is out there like bob mentioned acumatica was a platform first they built that platform so it could be universal so that we can pull in data from all of the available technology you know everybody talks about artificial intelligence and machine learning those types of things are being built into acumatica from ap document recognition to knowing what help files you will access more often those types of things just make it easier and easier to utilize your system and as technology grows acumatica technology grows along with it to, to maybe maybe add on a comment there chris um mm -hmm. you know the, the the teams the the implementation teams uh are ready and and very uh, very capable of having that discussion with you about you know getting access to your data and what does that mean now on this new platform and what is a what is a, a true plan for digital transformation i think you know the, the the dashboard that's on the screen i think is kind of the the catalyst for for kind of talking about the that you'll you'll have access to your data that you just didn't have before to manage by exception rather than to print an entire list of what ar is or what inventory is you can kind of say what are the outliers? What's the exceptions that we got to take a look at today and kind of focus in on? So, it kind of changes your focus. It changes your 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 efficiency. Uh, changes your uh, you know your your ability to really drill into details if you really want to see the, the 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 lower level of detail as well. Hundred percent total ingredients. Yeah, so thank you both for that extra color. I think that that, um, you know, I touch on the interface and, and even just the future of the workforce is um, really primed to have the ease of use of a system like Acumatica. So I think that that's something um, that's a little intangible and, and um, to to keep in mind as well as, as we all move into, um, you know, being more digital. It's exciting. Absolutely. It's definitely exciting. So please, you know, if you are looking for that digital transformation, please set up a call with our team so that we can help guide you through that. Yeah, and that's a great point um, to transition to. Uh, for uh, everyone on this call, um, you know, we're so grateful that you took the time out of your day to join us for, to learn about Acumatica and, and just the future of ERP. Um, with this, uh, we'll, we'll definitely send you the recording in the next 24 hours or so, but uh, we would like to kind of get your thoughts on, on what you saw today. So uh, your account manager will likely reach out to just uh, you know, hear your, your thoughts again. And, and uh, we, we do believe in, in this product and we are, we're heavily investing in um, the future of DSD with this solution as well. So uh, excited to keep the discussions going, excited um, to meet you where your company's at and um, help grow your business for the future. So thank you to our presenters today, Chris and Bob, really appreciate you sharing. Um, and thank you to all of you who attended with us. Thanks everyone, take care. Thank you everyone. Have a great rest of your day.